Today we have something more exciting than a tournament battle. It is Finchinator versus Mudkip Nerd. And this is a battle for a spot on the OU Council. So Mudkip Nerd, Monday at 1.20 p.m. said, Hi, I'm here to become an OU Council member, so I'll hand it over right now. And Finch maybe jokingly replied, Only if you beat me in a battle. And then it ended up making it to Reddit. And it's Wednesday, 5 p.m. Eastern, so they are playing. So what are y'all thinking? Right now, I'm recording this live. Some people might join the call. Some people might not. But we got some pretty crazy teams right here. They're about to start right now. Uh, we can see from Mudkip Nerd, they actually bought a really threatening team. Typically, you see Grimmsnarl on this slot over Klefki. But I guess they wanted both dual screens and spikes. Mm -hmm. But setup plus potentially Belly Drum Azu, SD Chien Pao, Dragon Dance, Roaring Moon. Um, the Golden Ghost probably Choice Scarf on this team, just from Speed Control, and then Quiver Dance Volcarona. Finch just brought some really good Pokemon exactly the same way. I assume the Oz is also Belly Drum on this team, just because they have two checks to Chi Yu anyway. Uh, three if you include Scarf Golden Go and it's not Specs Chi, uh, if it's not Scarf Chi Yu, and four if you include a uh, Terra type uh, Water Ape. Speaking of Ape, Ape looks insane here, especially if it's Terra type Water. The only thing that can beat it on this team would be Terra type Grass on Volcarona. Dragonite also looks absolutely incredible, but none of this might matter because Finchinator brought no hazards and no hazard control unless Annihilate is Stealth Rock. And Mudkip Nerd has at least spikes and more importantly, dual screens on the team. So this team, this game again, is for all the marbles. In terms of how they want to lead out, I, I mean, I see nothing wrong with just leading Clef Key and getting up a light screen. Uh, Finch might retaliate by going off with the Chi Yu and clicking overheat if it specs immediately. However, that does allow a light screen to go up, and that also does allow... <laughs> I'm just going to let the chat go on there, but I'm not reading anything that it says, I'll be completely honest. Uh, but that does allow an instant uh, Dragon Dance for Roaring Moon, which can be very, very threatening, especially if it's Terra type flying, because that will knock out Azu if it's booster energy boosted and a plus one. So we do see Volcarona versus Annihilate lead. Now, Annihilate on this team might not be bulk up. It actually might just be Stealth Rock plus Final Gambit. A Final Gambit early isn't terrible. It's basically a guaranteed kill on anything. I think Finch might have expected Klefki to be the lead, so they let Annihilate maybe to taunt it and then get up Stealth Rock, and then probably to Final Gamma anyway. Um, Annihilate has so much more HP than Volcarona as well, so even off of a hit, unless it's a super strong one, turn off moderated chat right now. We do see it being a bulky, uh, a bulky Volcarona and taunt from Annihilate. This could either be fast bulk up or like I said, the Stealth Rock Rage Fist Final Gambit set. Beautiful taunt though from Finch. Um, Volcarona not always running max speed in this because they tend to run a little bit bulkier as it allows them to, even, some of them even run max defense, max HP, allowing them to check Chi Yu. Uh, and obviously by using Terra Grass, they can uh, make use of that Giga Drain and it becomes Stab, allowing them to be even unaware Pokemon like Don Dozo. So uh, we could see a final Gambit coming out immediately if Finchinder doesn't value rocks. Rocks aren't that important in this game if it's heavy duty boots Chien Pao. Uh, obviously, Golden Gold doesn't care about rocks. Roaring Moon, they're not like it's not doing super effective damage versus anything besides Volcarona and Chien Pao, and both of which can easily be running boots. I specific hold up, please turn off timer for a sec. Hold up, I am reading now. Oh, Finch is putting his channel there, but yeah, so Finch has a choice do you value just to kill on Volcarona? Personally, I love the idea of just if I have Final Gambit going for it. Because Volcarona can be annoying since it could stop King Gambit and it can stop Azu via its flame body ability. Like obviously a boosted Azu knocks out Vulcan, a boosted King Gambit, especially with a good Terra type, will beat Volcarona as well. But you don't necessarily need rocks. However, Finch can still get up rocks and then Final Gambit after two. Uh, this is a bulkier Volcarona, so it'll probably only do around 30-40% to Annihilate. And then you still get a huge Final Gambit off leaving Volk at uh, about 30-40%. So, it's a pretty big, uh, it's a pretty, I would say Finch has a huge advantage here. Basically, he can get a kill. So, let's see if we do see that. We do see Stealth Rock go up first. Roaring Moon comes right out. Now, interesting because this is most, this Annihilate is most certainly, like, it's guaranteed Focus Sash right now. Uh, but saving Volcarona makes sense. Volcarona is really good. Again, the ability to potentially burn something on the team is so nasty. I think that Dragonite goes crazy here with these E-Speeds, though. And especially if Finch can force the uh, the Terra early and then pick up a KO and Annihilate, that'd be good, too. Uh, Roaring Moon coming right in, though, on Annihilate, not typically something you see. Maybe Mudkip Nerd knows that this is only fighting move is Final Gambit. Or, again, it is the Acro set. If it's Acro plus Dragon Dance, or if it goes right for the Acro... Um, 
Finch could technically just Rage Fist. The reason that it doesn't matter too much if this Mon sets up is because there are three priority users on Finch's team, and Roaring Moon doesn't have the best physical defense, right? Good HP, good special defense, but really bad physical defense. That's like the stat you typically try to take advantage of when it comes to this Mon. So if Finch wants to switch, which I don't think he does with this team, you want to keep Azu in the back because that's the guaranteed Chiyu answer. Um, if I'm Finch, right, this is the only thing on the entire team besides Azu, and that isn't a counter if it's Terra type Grass, uh, Scarf Chiyu, or Specs Chiyu, stopping Chiyu from clicking Flamethrower and stuff. So you see, Golden Go comes out. We do see a Taunt as well. So Finch is going for Taunt just to stop potentially multiple setups. Um, this means that. Oh, he just Rage Fist, and now he just spams it. Hmm. Golden Go no longer having a choice scarf means that at plus one Dragonite is out uh, outspeeds everything on the team. Mudkip Nerd really just switching around here. I feel like you need to attack Finch's team. He has not switched out this Annihilate. It's lead Annihilate. You've seen Stealth Rock plus Taunt. They're trying to account for the final Gambit, but if you do damage to it, you do fine. I think that Mudkip might not know what this Annihilate does. I think that just might be it. They may be thinking, okay, it's Annihilate. They could have close combat. I don't want to stay in, and it's probably focused. They might think it's focused Axe, but they might not know about the... Uh, the straight up um no fighting move and this is even scarier now versus mudkip nerds t because this annihilate is faster than plus one volcarona because it now has a choice scarf it's faster than chi Yu. um and we do see the we do see chi Yu come out now on the roaring moon is this terra type fairy i think finch made this play because they expected chien pao to come out or Klefki, and they wanted to get off a strong flame on it to be able to knock them out. But yeah, this Annihilate is actually a giant threat because it is max speed Annihilate. So it's faster than everything on their team at plus one besides Roaring Moon, and it can knock out everything with Final Gambit. So really, really, besides the Ghost, but really, really, really um, bad few turns for Mudkip Nerd. You need a lot to come back. Azu comes out as they Dragon Dance. Now, if this does Terra Flying, it can definitely be a threat for Azu. I don't know if it kills because it's not booster energy boosted. Also, it's currently holding an item, so I don't think it's booster energy, period. I think it might be steel type or dark type. Um, so we might see a steel Terra from Mudkid Nerd here. But if you do Terra now to do this, your chances of breaking through... Hmm. If that's Scarf Chiyu, you don't really have any chance of breaking through with Chien Pao. You lost your choice Scarf on Golden Ghost, so you're really screwed versus Dragonus. It is Bug. Bug into Taunt. I don't know how I feel about that. Bug type is interesting. Bug type lets you set up on uh, Golden Tusk. So if it's Dragon Dance, Taunt, Roost. All right, <laughs> he said this warrants timer off. We bug it. Come on, bro. Yeah, this is this is a this is a quite a game. I I I don't like that at all. I do not like that. Is there a way of Mudkip Nerd still winning? Belly drum, if you get some damage off on this Azu and you somehow get a belly drum up with your Alum Azu, because I'm, I'm assuming again this is dual screens Klefki, um, then their own Azu can win. But this, this is not looking good, guys. This is not looking good at all <laughs> from Mudkip Nerd. Terra, so Taunt uh, Roaring Moon isn't bad, right? I think one good set on Taunt Roaring Moon is Dragon Dance Taunt Acro Roost with booster energy. It's so strong. Um, and it has taunt, to, uh, and you can roost off on run. Like, we do see the roost there, so. But the issue here is that. The issue here is that this is gonna die anyway. So they basically get nothing. They basically get absolutely nothing out of this. I don't even think that's, that's not banded damage, right? 60% is so little. Can it just Aqua J here? Exactly, yeah. That's probably Belly Jamazu on this team, or Salt Dust. Um, but I'm thinking more so Belly Drum, just because it's an offensive Annihilate used to get rid of a Pokemon, like maybe Rotom immediately with Final Gambit opening up for Azu. But Terra Type is gone, Choice Scarf from Golden Go is gone. Um, literally gets a kill whenever Annihilate comes out, which is pretty crazy. And also Belly Drum Azu 6 L's too, so there's a lot. Belly Drum Azu comes in right. <laughs> okay, so that's not banned. Oh, they didn't mean banned, they meant banned did. Yeah. Uh, Bandit obviously wouldn't have been <laughs> take. It would not have taken that hit if it was Bandit. So it seems some stuff is happening in the chat right now. And Finch's uh, Mudkip Nerd is now realizing that they most likely lose. 
and asking for a best of three. If that was Mudkip's nerd's intention and my boy Finch is getting hustled right now, I, I would, I mean, like, I think that'd make an excellent story. You know, I would love to see some crazy games from Mudkip Nerd. Finch is my teammate, but I would still love to see some crazy games from Mudkip Nerd. So uh, it was originally best of one, looks like best of three. Finch has to go at 5.30 though, he has a holiday dinner. Damn bro, it's, it's the 21st, you celebrating Christmas? Maybe it's Hanukkah. But uh, I, Golden Go does survive this, but it also doesn't kill Azu. And to be honest, if this is Belly Drum Azu, you could technically take the Make It Rain, get your Citrus and probably Belly Drum up, but you'd probably only be at 1 HP after, which means that Chien Pao's any priority would knock you out. So yeah, Chi Yu makes a lot of sense. Let's see if we see uh, Focus Blast. Didn't think we'd see one there, to be honest. And still does a lot though to Chi Yu. But that's a free flame. Azu comes out. Any damage on Azu means that the Dragon Dance, the Dragon Dance Mon is gonna win immediately. And we do see the Terra Grass, as I was mentioning. Looks like uh, <laughs> I was mentioning right there. That should be it. That basically should be it. I don't see a way that Chien Pao wins. Um, it is Boots. Well, if there is one way, actually, Chien Pao wins. Because Ape doesn't have a fighting move, so it has to Final Gambit. Which will still do a good chunk, because a Final Gambit is still considered an attack. So it should see you'll be able to Sucker Punch it. Because I'm assuming it's going to go for a Swords Dance here. I would go for Swords Dance. To be honest, if I'm Finch, uh, if I'm Mudkip Nerd and I'm trying to win, I'm going for Swords Dance. If I'm Finch, I don't switch out and I click Flamethrower. Yep, you have to go for Swords Dance there. Dude, Finch might lose. Finch might straight up lose. With King Gambit coming right in. They can't Terra. Eastby doesn't knock it out. Oh, it's only Crunch. Never mind. If that was Sacred Sword, Finch could have legitimately lost. Because if it had Sucker Punch as well, only Final Gambit from an alley would hit it. And they get the damage on that. Ah, to be honest, I think, I think Finch was fine. But, I don't know. Uh, this is free setup for King Gambit as it's a Dark type. So, while Klefki can get up screens, you just SD up repeatedly with King Gambit and you don't care. And then when Volker Rona comes out on King Gambit, you go hard Annihilate and click Final Gambit. Um, and then just knock it out. So this should be a 100% one for Finch. It's going to be a 5-0 most likely, not a 6-0. So we do have Fairy Lock. Oh! Yo! That actually would have been such a cool strat had you have gotten rid of Dragonite or Annihilate after. That is such a sick tech. I love that. I love that. Do we see a Burnt? We do not. Dragonite's gonna come right out. Finch is not gonna risk anything except for a burn here. No burn. Another another flamethrower there. Finch goes right for the earthquake. Doesn't pick up the KO. Uh, I think it looks like Finch is searching for a 6-0 here. It does look like Finch is searching for a 6-0. But this is a best of three now, so it, it generally doesn't matter if Finch 6-0s. Oh, just goes for another earthquake again. Oh, goes for Dragon Dance there to make sure that it's faster than Golden Go. So even if it does get burnt while it goes for extreme speed here and gets the flame body. Um, it still outspeeds Golden Go and can just knock it out. What up, Sabe? What up? Yeah, we're watching, uh, well, right now, <laughs> Finch just won, <laughs> so. Yeah, no, dude, I was watching this thing and I'm like, this is kind of a shame because he would, this guy, like, actually would have put up a decent fight if he wasn't so stupid. Yeah, or, the, like, the, the plays were definitely, like, really, yeah. really bad. Yeah, the plays were really bad. Like, this, th I actually thought Finch had a bad matchup. Like, but so did I, especially when I like, you keep going. I thought the same thing though. I thought when I saw Dragon Dance taunt Roost before it Terra bugged, I was like, yo, if this is the Acro Roost taunt set with booster energy, it can straight up win. Uh, it looked like SD Chien Pound looked insane. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought the same thing. I'm like, yo, this like this plus Chien Pound could totally cook him. And Exa like, exactly, exactly. You like th It would not be that uh, much of a stretch. It just would be a good matchup, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it would have been. Yeah. Then, then he let lead eight to get so much out. But obviously, they didn't know that. I'm assuming they knew it was lead based on taunt, stealth, rock, and rage fist. But I'm assuming they thought close combat and not final gambit like it usually does, right? Like they gave up oh, Golden Ghost Scarf. Eight. Yeah, because like Golden Go could yeah, have easily yeah. tricked Dragonite, not making it a threat anymore. Letting Volcarona set up later if it tear a grass. Like there was a lot of, right. th especially because it was bulky Volcarona, which was slower than Ape. Like bulky Quiver Dance, Flamethrower, Giga Drain, Roost, Volk plus Chien Pao's pressure could have been insane. Yeah. Oh, I totally agree. I was, I, I didn't, I wasn't sure if he just like EV'd it bad the the Volk because he led with it and yeah. 
it could have just been modest, but I, I wasn't really sure, you know? And But, like, I know when I usually run Volk, I don't typically go bulky. It's, like, three attack, giga, uh, fire move, psychic, mm. depending. But, yeah, I was like, oh, that could even be a threat. Like, Dragonite's there, but the rest of the stuff kind of... It doesn't love seeing yeah. uh, Volk, especially with uh, Goldango and... Uh, Klefki in the back, like yeah. So like you're good versus you're good versus D Knight. You, you have your fairy as well yeah. and Azu. Like there's a lot. There's a lot. Like there, there yeah. was literally a lot that could have actually done something here. Like I, and so some Volks are even I, obviously theirs wasn't, but some Volks are even running Quiver Dance Willowish specifically for Dragonite to beat it with the bulky set one v one, like with just Flamethrower. So like there was so much that I think oh, Bucket Nerd. I, I thought this was dual screens. I was like, okay, Finch is gonna like this is gonna be really hard for Finch because <laughs> yeah, he can't you can't actually get cooked. Game, yeah. game two, game yeah. two, by the way. I'm gonna leave it. Ooh, Finch using oh, the Masquerade. Yeah, I'll link it right now. There you go. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm driving home right now, so I'm just like on the car, like <laughs> in my car or whatever. You, wait, are, like, are you actually driving? Game. You're so you so you're not only watching Pokemon while driving, but you're a threat to the world. Well, I'm not watching it. I was like, I was watching the uh watching it at work. I like just left and got in the car. Oh, okay. I thought you pulled over on the highway and you were like, you know no, what, let's no, see how no, this no. is going. It's all right. We've all been there when during World Cup. We've... <laughs> during World Cup, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, like, I have this little thing in my car that's like almost like a stand I can put my phone, so I could just like peer over at it every so often to see like where the game. So at. only only slightly a threat to the road. Well, this one actually looks really scary yeah. for Finch yeah, too. Yeah, no, I. <laughs> it's, it's. I gotta connect because it's still. Uh... Yeah, I'll I'll read team preview, but it's uh it's Grimmsnarl plus Cyclozar. Plus a spot there, Dragonite, Garganachi, Garganackle, and uh, Chiyu oh, okay. versus like a Mascarada team with Annihilate. Like this looks insanely scary. Like I don't see how Finch even beats uh, the Garg behind a sub behind with screens. Like especially if it's Iron yeah. Defense. And even if it's like it doesn't even have to be that set. Like it could be Stealth Rock Protect Soul Cure here. And that set is also just as annoying. Um, Dude, I hate seeing that. I've like, I don't know who came up with it. If it was like NJMP or somebody like somebody else, because mm. I saw his team on the forums had it. And when I like, I never really, I hadn't gotten a chance to use uh, that Pokemon yet much. Yeah. Like I've used it in teams I got past, but I haven't built anything with it. Man, it's it a pain. <laughs> like, yeah, dude, it's so good. It is, I mean, the fact really that salt, the fact that salt care doesn't end <laughs> is is the dude, craziest I thing. I hate that. I don't know if yeah, Showdown has it coded like, right though. But you know the Covert Cloak? Why? Because you know the Covert Cloak, uh, it actually protects you from Salt Cure. I don't know if Shodan has it. I know before they didn't have it coded right. Um, but people in-game would use the Covert Cloak to ignore uh, Salt Cure. So I think that if Shodan, uh, if, if it is coded, okay. then some Pokemon should run it, like Corviknight and stuff. Um, more than like yeah, Rocky yeah, Helmet yeah. and things. This is just an option. But Yeah, no, It's as long as it's coded right, that it would make sense. Like you could totally switch it and Pokemon that like don't really need leftovers yeah. or something like that. That could, that will come yeah. into like, I guess, body press salt cure very easily. Like even core doesn't love, I guess, coming in on it because like body press on roost would kind of, yeah, be it'll, it'll beat it one v one. But like, like, like taunt Corviknight will beat it though. Yeah. Like it would actually oh, allow yeah, taunt yeah. Corviknight to beat it one v one. I think this is a really tough game mm -hmm. as well for Finch because if that is also still lead annihilate, um, you kind of suffer with your golden goal. Like, what do you check? Are you going to check Espathra or are you going to check Dragonite? Because they do have their yeah, uh, Iron right. Valiant, but with screens up, it's not. Yeah. Oh no, it's not a counter. You're not killing, and especially if it, you know, Terra is normal, then it's exactly. not great. Exactly. Like, it can you, easily shoot one hit and attack you. Yeah. Yeah, so free light screen. We do see a Nasty Plot. Uh, nasty Plot into Overheat will not be able to KO Cyclozar. But, and if it's Citrus Berry, it can actually still sub pass if it wants to. But I think this was a great lead on Finch's yeah. part, though. Uh, because Grim cannot touch it at all. Yeah, the game finally loaded for me, actually. So I got it up. Nice. Yeah. Like, I think there's so many people that it actually, like, lags out my phone a little bit. Yeah, there are a lot of people. There's, 800, there's 847 people here, or 860 people here watching this game. There was... There was 900 in the game before. I don't even think OST gets, like, OST finals or... Like no. any official tournament final. They don't. So they don't. Covered. This is why this. I think everybody has to start calling out Smogon on Reddit, and and just making it like if you want if you want to grow the game. But I mean, if this is Terra Grass, yeah, uh, Chiyu again, which it easily could be, 
It's gonna do a good chunk yeah. to the Garg. I don't think it kills though, so. We see Annihilate on the Iron Defense. I think this is still lead Annihilate, so I think we'll see a final Gambit. And if they can get rid of uh, the Garg right here, like that's so, wait, what, Spothra? Oh, he just switched out. And then, yeah, well that was obvious, like he was obviously Taunt. I was just figuring he was gonna do Taunt bulk up. Yeah, but but even if they out. did, like uh, Garg doesn't yeah. lose with Iron Garg doesn't lose with Iron Defense up. All it has to do is oh, he is running close combat over final gamut. Damn, I would say all you have to do is go yeah. for Assault Cure once and then be good. But when yeah, protect, yeah, I don't know why he switched out there. That guy that yeah. didn't really make any sense to me. Agreed. He already had the Iron Defense up, like just Assault Cure, and he's not going to do much to you. Yeah, exactly. I've seen some uh, Espathra, by the way. Huh. Yeah. I was about to say, I see some, oh, well, that, that killed, but I've seen some Espathra run yeah. uh, Terra Ghost. Really? For? Yeah. Like for, e -speed uh, specific, uh, specifically for E-Speed, but also to beat Golden Go, guaranteed. Mm, that makes sense. Well, I mean, Fitch oh, uses Terra. They... Mm. Oh, I guess there's nice leftovers. Hmm. That... You, have you tried Encore at all on Dragonite? Yes, it's really good. It's really strong. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, because it's funny. Like, maybe last week or earlier this week, I posted about it in East, but it was because I was trying to come up with, like, something that could switch into EQ and then stop uh, the big fucking whale thing. I don't even know. Don Dozo, or yeah. however you say it. Finch might have just and, lost, by the way. And God, Yeah. Oh, real. Oh, God. Uh, Wait, yeah. why didn't you do, like, why didn't oh, you do it again? <laughs> Sorry, uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I was going to say, I was trying to find all these things, and I came up with, like, a phaser set. But I was like, after, I'm like, I'm thinking DD, like, E-Speed EQ with Encore would be fine, too. Because you could PP stall, like, Corvignite, all the things that Wallet do not want to be Encore. Yeah. Uh, no, and that's you it. and then you could just, and you could just drag nets after. Actually, it runs with T spikes for Don Dozo and stuff, so you beat it one v one. Plus, it has to wave crash mm. and stuff. It's really good. Uh, NJMP passed yeah. some replays with it as well. But Finch just lost to Dragonite, um, by uh, because oh, yeah. of drag because of dragging it's up. Um, yeah, that's, that's a wrap. Right. You just e speed twice and win. Uh, you should definitely stop. You should definitely stop dragon dancing, Mudkip nerd. You should start attacking, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely start attacking. You you'll kill it. Okay, wait. Finch is trying to PP stall the East, the East Beast plus the Earthquakes. This is going to be epic. Oh my. But at the same... Oh, but it's Fire Punch, so it's over. <laughs> All right, oh so 1-1. One, one. What a crazy yeah, game. Uh, so th this is where, like, I, I get the Terra because he was terrified, no pun intended, of Espothra. Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Because then he wanted to save Golden Go for the Garg. But damn, did Leftovers Dragonite just do it. Yeah, and I, he probably should have just used Make It Rain, I guess. I think it's set up anyway just because like, it's Leftovers, but like it being yeah, Leftovers yeah, actually was huge because it ended up getting back. Yeah. It ended up getting back to multiscale. Get back everything. Yep. Yeah, and then the normal Terra was very strong on Mudkip. So again, this was supposed to be a best of one, but then Finch accepted the best of three, and now it got really, really interesting. <laughs> now it's, yeah, now it's close. But when now, starts, yeah. Now thanks, Finch is gonna start loading up. Uh, he's gonna load up like Claude Zire, Don Dozo. Yeah, yeah. Cause he gave basically gave him like a chance with the two HOs. If he loads up stall, this guy's never gonna break it. I do think Specs Chi though will break it, uh, or even Nasty Plot Overheat. But yeah, the server's restarting. Uh oh. Uh, nah, nah. Don't bad. nah, nah. Don't be doing this. Don't be doing this. <laughs> Don't be doing this. Nah, that's too coincidental. The server's restarting while Finchineer's tied 1-1. One, one. None of this. <laughs> None of this. All right, we'll be right back, guys. So here we are with game three and really interesting. Mudkip Nerd decided to bring the team that they won with and so did Finch. So <laughs> team from game one and then team from game two. So we see Grimmsnarl versus this. We know that it's going to light screen up as well. I actually did... No, no, this is the exact same thing. He had a masquerade. So this is crazy because in this regard, I mean, they're definitely going to go hard into Grim Snarl, right? That's what they did last time. There's no, I mean, excuse me, uh, Garganacle or Organical, or as my friends like to say, Garganachi. Uh, save that to go. Finally got home. But uh, I'm assuming a Dark Pulse is coming out by Finch. Uh, Finch definitely wants to be a little bit smarter with the Terra as we found out that that Dragonite was a giant threat. 
Um, knowing that Spother has Dazzling Gleam, we know that it's not going to be some random Shadow Ball set too. But it's just super funny that they both brought the exact same team. I guess technically if Finch wants to, Finch can Nasty Plot up again as there's nothing that Mudkid Nerd can go out to that immediately threatens it with a KO. And if you want to guarantee that you knocked out the Garg, then it's not a bad play. The only thing about uh, tearing and tearing grass is that then Grimmsnarl can parting shot around you. So we do see Garg come out. We do see another Nasty Plot come out from Finch. And uh, maybe just a Dark Pulse. I think Dark Pulse is relatively safe. Chi, you shouldn't die to anything, even a Body Press, unless this thing Terra fights. And this also has a chance to flinch. So, yep. So, unless it's a Terra fighting there, but uh, Weakening Garg is always very good. Uh, especially for... Ooh! That's a dirty roll right there. 51. Ooh! ooh, ooh. That is a dirty roll. So, um... Mudkip Nerd could obviously extreme speed. Finch is probably going to go Annihilate. Yep. As Mudkip Nerd expects that and ends up going for the... Uh, Ends up going for the Dragon Dance. So really good play on Mudkip Nerd's part. Obviously, they had the light screen and multiscale, so it wasn't going to kill them. But it still was a very, very, very good play. Especially because we know this Annihilate is Terra Steel. So this is just a free Earthquake from Mudkip Nerd. They have it uh, to be, which may just be a 2 hit KO on... Yeah, I'm pretty sure max HP Annihilate gets 2 hit KO'd by plus 1 Dragon Knight's Earthquake. And getting rid of this thing means no rocks. Uh, but also no annoying Sasher in the back. Um... Espothra is probably the only threat, but there's I cannot see it winning with the King Gambit plus Golden Go plus even Dragonite and Ozzy. Like, yeah, I don't even think Espothra is a threat. I'm trying to think how does Mudkip Nerd win from this situation? They would have to shed tail into Espothra on like a miss or a bad attack from Finch or a bad call from Finch and then have it go from there. What the hell? Huh? 306 speed. Three, 306. Okay. Well, this isn't going to win the game because Rage Fist is going to end up kicking up the KO after. And we know that this Nihilip is Sash. So, ooh. Okay, okay, okay. If they changed it, if they changed it from Roost, if they change it to Roost instead of Protect now, they're in a good spot. But there's no way a spot there wins unless they actually did end up changing it to Roost. Because Annihilate is Sash, so yeah, that was odd. Well, once again, this Annihilate is getting so much out of its just being here, being alive. Uh, Cyclozar cannot knock it out unless it has knockoff, so if it comes out, it better have knockoff. Otherwise, I'm not sure why it came in. Yeah, whatever's coming in is... I... Mm. They didn't change it as well. So now Dragonite gets broken by that and it also gets to hit it with the 100 base power and the taunt, yeah. So basically, I don't know why you just didn't go for Earthquake there. I really definitely just went for Earthquake, saving your Espathra because it kind of looks like Azu just wins the game by clicking Play Rough into Aqua Jet on everything, like quite literally. So it, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of this game three, not a big fan of, it got really spicy, game two. I mean, maybe Azu can miss, technically. Azu can technically miss several play roughs. Does that make a difference? Um, but Dragonite can't two-shot Azu, especially if it's Citrus Berry. And play rough easily picks up the KO. But then again, it is a really bulky Dragonite. So we do see E-Speed. Oh! Yeah, it's a, like I said, with Citrus, it wasn't going to be able to two a KO. And we do see a crit there as well. Um... It's not Bruce Dragonite because it has Fire Punch, so the crit didn't really matter. I guess technically Finch had to land two. Yeah, but they think it just Aqua Jet after. It just meant that he could Aqua Jet after. Um, I think it's a wrap though. Chi Yu cannot handle the onslaught from Aqua Jet. Another Chi Yu. Um, a Dragonite's E speed. Dragonite at full for one. I think that Mudkip Nerd had to be a faster D Knight or just simply attack into Annihilate to do something. You do get the, the screens up, though. I don't think that ends up mattering, though. Because you just simply go Chi Yu at Finchinator here. After you play rough, yeah. Yeah, you can simply go Chi Yu here. I guess there's nothing that Mudkip Nerd... That, that Finch just doesn't need to switch, I guess. 
I don't know. You could have won Chiyu there, but I guess you don't really need to risk anything. Your playoffs are still going to knock out Cyclozar. Chiyu is still going to take like 40% through Reflect in minus one. 34, 40%-ish. Um, Cyclozar should still die. And Chiyu doesn't have boots, so it's going to take about 30%. Nope, it took zero. I lied. But it doesn't matter because it's rocks. Uh, because it took rocks, like it has no hope of winning the game because it's basically it's not heavy to boots, so it's not going to be a full always. Um, so the reflect won't end up making too much of a difference. We do see the Chiyu come out, probably just sack it. We see a flamethrower come out. At this point, though, it's basically over. Uh, unless this is Will O Wisp. Dragonite, I, I don't remember if we saw anything from this Chiyu, but Dragonite just Dragon Dances up, kills Grimmsnarl with E Speed, um, stops Cyclozar from passing by hitting it with E Speed as well. So at this point, I guess Mudkip is hoping for the burn, which they end up getting. Now, the burn could be interesting because if it's not Roost on Dragonite, don't remember if we saw that. They could have switched out into Cyclozar there and then ended up uh, and then ended up rapid spinning to try and do something. But I guess at this point, it doesn't matter, right? You just go Azu and click Aqua Jet and then Azu just wins the game um, or just play roughs and wins the game anyway. So it's a wrap. Regardless, yeah, this game through this game through is a little bit disappointing. Um, I don't. I mean, you can't wrap now. You just lose the game anyway to to Golden Go, right? Yeah, Golden Go just comes out, clicks, make it rain. Cyclozar can't do crap. It can't wrap its spin on Golden Go. It can knock off for like forty something percent, uh, but it, Cyclozar is not a sweeper on its own unless shift gear. <sighs> no. Ain't nothing happening here. Yeah, you can't shut. Uh, what were you? I mean, it would have died anyway. It would have died anyway. <laughs> so that's a wrap. It is indeed a wrap. Finch just stays in, clicks attack until he wins, or until Ozzy can come out and click jet. But that's game. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, best of three, Finch ended up winning. He won the initial best of one anyway. Uh, game three was just a little bit not as fun for me personally. But I, uh, the OU Council is saved. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of thing. It was pretty interesting to see it actually go down live. And uh, yeah, good games to both of them. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.